It has been a while since I have talked about Resonating Heroes. Due to the anniversary event, a lot of people were able to level up their Resonating Heroes. The question I asked myself before making this video was, how useful is this actually for free-to-play players? Spoiler alert, you will be disappointed. Today's video is sponsored by Huawei App Gallery. The Polish team has an insane deal for you. The Back to School campaign is literally my favorite promotion in App Gallery. Spend one Polish Lotti in game and you receive a coin. With these coins, you can trade these in for devices such as Freebirds, phones, tablets, and even a monitor, which I am going to purchase for editing my videos. Make sure to take a look at the promotion through the links in the description because this is literally the best deal you will ever get. In this video I will talk about the usefulness of resonating heroes in PvP. This means I won't include any PvE activities such as influencer trap. To give you a little bit of context, every time we are using resonating heroes in a PvP formation, the original hero of that generation is just terrible. Let's take a look at Gen 7 for example. Grim, the hunter hero of that generation is not all too good skill wise and you might wonder why not just stick with Luca gen 6 hunter hero and that answer is actually super simple stats stats and stats there is a difference of 118 percent attack and defense bonuses between Grim and Luca now how do you get the best of both worlds you level up Grim and use a resonating hero with somewhat better skills than the original hero. This way you get the stats of a gen 7 hero and better skills than the original hero. Now on most generations this actually isn't the case. The original hero is usually better. For free to play it's hard enough to level up heroes as it is. And a good free to play will rarely upgrade heroes that are not good enough. Which means they don't have any need for a resonating hero because the heroes they upgrade are simply better than the skills of the resonating heroes. So if you're following my logic, resonating heroes are completely useless to free to play and it's obviously a pay to play feature. The only exception to all of this is Joker. That is the only hero that can be used on every generation in state of survival. You can't and won't be able to upgrade him anyways. I don't want to dive too much deeper into Joker. I want to anticipate on a potential comment that will be in the comment section. Resonating heroes are no longer useful in most events. Wacko won't give you an additional benefit. Mikoto won't give you additional benefits. And even Daryl won't give you an extra benefit. State of survival made the change to new battle engine to all events except for showdown which makes resonating heroes completely useless in reservoir raid for example overall skill effect is a thing of the best with the exception of Daryl in Alliance Showdown. So conclusions, if you are completely free to play, Resonating Heroes just won't be for you. Anyways, I will leave you guys here for today. I hope I didn't crush your dreams. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button and subscribe if you can. Thanks for watching and bye!